cool my face so I know I look slightly odd with like full-on intense blush and full-on brows and no eye makeup um but I was midway through getting ready to film and then I realized that um I wanted to use I knew I wanted to use but I realized that this quad I told you guys I wanted to film a look on and I wanted to I told you and I had an inclination and had made a note to film a, a video on this guy. So I thought um, I'm going to stop midway through doing my makeup and do a look on um, this Dolce & Gabbana Desert Quad. So if you missed the haul, I picked it up a couple weeks ago when Harrods was having a 10% off sale. Um, and this special edition packaging that matches my bedspread um, is special edition. So they have whatever is left usually in store and maybe if they still have any online is what they've got online. But I think once it's gone, the packaging is gone, but the quad itself is part of their permanent line. So um, I have really, really been enjoying this guy. And so if you want a quick sort of, is it worth it? In my opinion, these colors are really, I'm trying to see if there's a way not to blind you because uh, it all shines. But um, hopefully you see them in action. What's nice about them is they're super creamy, they're super pigmented, really nice to blend. And honestly, not only have I been using them um, like on their own as a quad if I want a new try, but I also tend to really love bright colorful eyes and so what I love, I ha love having this quad sort of on the side so that if I need a transition color or a crease color or something, I've got it like really to pick, quickly pick up and just go to town enjoy using it I don't you guys know what I'm trying to say okay I'm just gonna get started if you want to do this as a chit chat video I haven't done a chit chat video for a while so I'm gonna start with my um, Trish McAvoy eye base in bear um, I think I told you guys I actually got to meet Miss Trish McAvoy at um, an event they had at Liberty's a little while ago um, I have a vlog it was I think my first UK vlog it was my first UK vlog um, that I did after that event and she is absolutely hilarious and just like full of energy. Okay, hold on, I gotta put that in. You set up, there's no table in front of me, so I'm trying to sort of wing how I get everything accomplished. Um, but anyways, yeah, no, she's like super high energy, really, really sweet and bubbly and just, I don't know, one of those like crazy over the top personalities. Um, her makeup though, like she looks absolutely lovely in it, but it was a little bit too neutral for my taste, like it's all about sort of very natural, everyday makeup, which is not necessarily my go-to. So I didn't pick up anything from the line. I did have that eye base from before and I really do love the eye base. Um, okay, so we are going to reach into these, oh my gosh, I gotta find a way to show you this though, blinding you this quad. I don't think they each have their names specifically. So I'm just gonna take the lighter, lightest color in the shade, the lightest shade in the bunch on my MAC 217 all over my lid area. Yeah, sure, that makes sense. I don't think I've done like a talk through video in quite a long time. I keep meaning to, I filmed a collab with Lisa on Thursday. Would it have been last Thursday, depending on when this video goes up. Um, I'll link that down below and I wanted to do that one as a talk through, mainly so I could gush about how much I love Lisa. Cause she's awesome and she's an Albertan and you know what more can you ask for in a woman um but I've been having there's been some construction going on outside and it starts sounding obnoxious um when I try I start to feel like I, I need to talk over them and you can hear them in the background and it just I'm like you know what instead of stressing myself out <laughs> I'm just gonna do it as a voiceover so I'm filming this one at night when there's no one working outside. It's fun to get a sit and chat with you guys. Okie dokie, and then I'm going to take my eye blender brush from Bobbi Brown and this sort of orangey color. Um, it's like an orangey brown color. I love those kinds of orangey browns or like even the like um, mustard yellow colors in the crease. I don't, it's sort of been my go-to lately. On this, uh, did I say Bobbi Brown eye blender brush? Oh my goodness. And just take that to warm up our cream. So my mirror broke, like the, the, not the actual mirror, but it comes on a stand and I broke it the other day. I think I told you guys on one of my videos I was filming and it fell and it broke and I've been on a strike. I was like, on a strike, but I decided that I don't need to replace it. I was like, no, I'm fine. I don't want to buy another mirror. And then this week when my tape job started just not holding up like at all, 
I um, I broke down and went to Boots and got a mirror. So <laughs> I, I love the other mirrors. One of those, if anyone is in need of a mirror, they're having, they have this, I'll link it down below, but they've got this one that has five times magnification on one side um, and normal on the other side and it lights up and they've got it on special for 20 pounds. It used to be 50. So yeah, I finally just went and got it and oh my goodness, how much easier it has been to do my makeup take care of my brow like everything is just so much easier when you have a mirror that isn't constantly falling apart so it's like with the wipes I swear sometimes I'm like why do I enjoy making my life more difficult than it needs to be I don't really know okay and then with like the purplish color and nope that's the wrong brush <laughs> um and this angled shadow brush I think I told by real techniques I told you guys about this guy and I used it in my in that vice 3 collab with Lisa um, it, I love it because it does all the work for you so I like to just place it like that and so I get almost like a flick and then I'll blend it up and into my crease and then it just gives like a nice definition to the eye area my eyes are su my eyelids are really really dry today and so I feel like here I am trying to tell you how easy this brush is and how blendable these eyeshadows are while I'm working a lot harder than I usually do with them. But my eyelids, my whole body is just like, my skin is just really dry today. So, which is really odd to me because I'm used to the like super cold, very dry Western Canadian climate. So this technically is humid for me, but I've never had my lips, like I haven't had lips this chapped and a face this dry in such a long time. And so while I was thinking of skipping doing like a winter skincare video um, that someone requested a little while ago, because I was like, well, I don't know if I'm actually gonna have to change very much while I'm here. Um, I am going to have to. So I've been testing out a bunch of products that I'll hopefully get to talk to you guys about soon. Um, because yeah, there's there there needs to be some extra hydration to my skin. So you can definitely leave it like this as a really nice soft look. I'm gonna run create a mess and then I'm gonna run a little bit of that purple shade under my eye um, just to give it a little bit more of a something something I definitely will wear this look out this way but honestly the reason I like colorful bright shiny eyes so it's usually it's been a lot of glitter and like colored eyeshadow on my eyes recently um, but I've been really really loving this palette to use it with those colors and those glitters just to have some neutrals for the crease and for, you know, like the inner corner or what have you, so. Yeah, I wanted to show it to you today. Um, I'm not gonna put any liner inside my eye because I have my contacts on and last time I tried to put liner on with contacts in, I could not see because <laughs> it got all over my lenses. That's that. I'm gonna go put some mascara on and some lipstick. I, quite, I haven't quite decided what I want as lipstick yet, but I'm gonna go do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back. Um, mascara is on, lipstick is on. This is a lipstick by Barry M that my sister got me, um, which has these really pretty birds on it. I was having a bad day and she bought me lipstick. Like, yeah, that's the kind of awesome sister I have. Um, this is a number 187 Gothica and it snaps. Do you guys see that? Um, it snaps open. So it's just a really pretty, um, I can't stop looking at it because it's so glossy. I didn't realize how glossy it was when I put it on. But yeah, uh, everything on my face shall be listed down below. And that is the finished eye look. Like I said, really, really pretty palette. Um, if you can get the special edition packaging, obviously you know me and my love of print. Um, but if print is not your thing or it sells out, the permanent quad itself is really lovely. Um, for those of you, the itchy nostrils, every video without fail. Um, for those of you that like neutral eyes, but also um, for anyone in need of some good transition shades and basics just to, to enhance any look. So yeah, I think that's it for me today. I'm going to do some points of positivity and that'll be all. So my first point of positivity is it was uh, Thanksgiving a couple days ago and I've definitely been missing that Thanksgiving vibe. If honestly, one of the things that I've been missing most is pumpkin pie. Yeah, Shake Shack has pumpkin pie custard like on Wednesdays, but I forgot to go get some this week. I know, 
I know. Um, so all the pictures of pumpkin pie that all my sweet friends have been sending me has just been giving me life. It sounds really silly, but it's just been bringing me so much sunshine and happiness. So that's definitely my first point of positivity. My second is two of my most amazing, amazing soul sisters here on YouTube did a collab together and it was a lip themed collab. So honestly, could it have gotten any better? I don't think so. Um, Rada and Carol, who are patchouli and Carol Cosmos here on YouTube did a lip collab and I will link their videos down below. Definitely go check them out. Some amazing um, pics, but I always love to see sort of our little circle grow and, and, you know, become stronger. So it makes me really happy. Stronger is in like our connections. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah, so um, yeah, just check them out. They brought me lots of, of, of joy today as well. And my third point of positivity, hold on have my contacts in and they just don't want to cooperate today. I didn't even put liner in my eyes. The floof. Oh my gosh. I thought it was like we were rid of the floof when I left Canada. No. It follows me. I'm like a magnet to the floof. I'm going to finish because we're like in 15 different places today. My third point of positivity is um, listening to No Control by One Direction. Yes, I know. But it's one of those songs that makes me feel like a teenager. I was walking at night the other day and I had my um, headphones in and it came on and like I got the urge to you know when we were like 12 and 13 you just you have these songs too that just made me want to like jump and head bob yeah I legitimately sort of started doing that and I was like you are in a public space and you need to know just focus on getting to point B and then you can have a dance party and that's literally what happened um so I will link I'll try to find a link to the song and put it down below but if anyone needs like a moment of teenage angst and just see I'm even thinking about is making me want to jump go watch that video um I want to thank you guys so so much for being with me and being with the goofiness all the time um you guys are awesome and I don't know what else I want to tell you share with me what's been bringing you guys smiles down in that comment section um tons and tons of love your way and as always I can never leave you without reminding you that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick bye guys <laughs>